Hey there, today I'm going to talk about a cultural anime. If you like Revenge Story, then you should definitely watch this. If you don't know where to watch it, Google is your best friend. The main character, also known as the Protein Man, because he has no eyes. He is sitting on the bench while plotting something. It seems like he wants to exact revenge on his father. It all started when he was just a kid. He is living together with his mother. They are very poor and having a hard life. In the meantime, his father is a very famous scholar who has established a prestigious academy. Although he is living a very good life, he did not even bother to visit his wife and son. This made the protein man very angry at his father. One day, his mom brought him to meet his father. However, he refused to meet both of them and ignored them like they are some sort of trash. <laughs> He saw two girls on the second floor. They are staring at him. He immediately realized that his dad has abandoned them and remarried with someone else. This made him very angry at his father for discarding them like trash. Wait, I just realized that he has eyes that time. I guess he lost his eyes after that to become the legendary protein man. After a few years, his mother has passed away because she overworked herself. He is all alone now and he has no choice but to work a lot of part-time job to keep himself alive. Throughout these years, he still did not forget about his hatred toward his father. He decided to get revenge on his father by destroying the academy that he built and using protein blast on his daughters. Well, that's enough backstory for now. As I said before, he is sitting on the bench outside the academy. He is trying to find some ways to get into the academy. He does not know how to do that because the security is very strict. He wished that he could get some sort of power and become the true protein man. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, a woman called out to him. It is a lady in cloak. It felt like she has read his mind and asked him if he wants power. He is surprised to see her and asked her about her identity. She ignored his question and showed him a stopwatch. She told him that it can completely stop time. <laughs> He thought that she is high from smoking too much protein. He obviously does not believe her bullet. <gasps> However, after he said that, she used the watch and the time has stopped completely. He is shocked after seeing that. He did not expect that she is telling him the truth. He did not see that coming because he has no fucking eyes. After that, he received the watch from her and has become the true legendary protein man with time magic. <laughs> <laughs> he is very satisfied with the power that he received. However, he is not letting his guard down. Although he has this godlike power, he is not going to charge straight into the academy without learning the full potential of his power. He keeps using the watch to test the limit of his power. After he had made his preparation, it is time for protein time. He is going to start his revenge. No one abandoned the Protein Man and gets away with it. All of them are going to feel the wrath of Protein Man. He used his power and entered the academy without giving any fuss. <gasps> his targets are his stepsisters, Kanoko and Hina. He is going to show them the power of Protein Man by giving them protein time. After searching for a while, he finally found both of them in a classroom. <laughs> What a coincidence. Both of them are alone together in the classroom, so this just make his job easier. He is observing them and decided to start his revenge by targeting Hina first. He is checking out her homegrown melons to feel the texture and softness. After that, he used his power to unfreeze her. When she is free from his power, she is shocked to see him right in front of her. She also found out that he is checking out her melons. He told her to calm the fuck down because this is not a misinput. He is going to give her the protein time whether she likes it or not, because no one can reject the protein man. 
She asked Kanoko to help her out, but she is completely frozen. Even if she is there, both of them have no chance against the Protein Man. After Melon time is over, he stops the time again. He wants to clean his Excalibur, so he used her to clean his Excalibur the eco-friendly way. When his skill gauge is about to be full, he unfreezes her and used his ultimate Protein Blast on her for the meme. She did not see that coming, but he is coming anyways. After that, he frees her again. It is Kanoko's turn to get the protein now. They should feel grateful, because instead of receiving flying knives, they are getting some premium-grade protein. Anyways, when he unfreezes her, she is also shocked after seeing him. However, there is not much she can do because he is the protein man. He freezed her again and gave her the blessing of Excalibur. He found out that this is her first time getting the blessing of Excalibur. After that, he unfreezes her, and she is shocked from the surprise Excalibur attack. She did not see that coming but she will be coming later. As the protein man, he is fair to all and will give everyone an equal share of his protein, including you guys. After he is done with Kanoko, he is going to give some protein to Hina too. He unfreezes her in 360 no scope her for some phase montage. This is also her first time getting 360 no scope. After that, he keeps giving both of them a lot of limited edition protein man's protein until he is satisfied. After the protein time is over, he left both of them. When someone entered the student council room, she is shocked to see both Kanoko and Hina lying down on the floor with a lot of fresh organic protein. Well, that is first step of him getting revenge. He still hasn't forget his true purpose. He is going to destroy this academy for the sake of his revenge. <laughs> He used his power again and roam around the school. He spotted some rich looking lady in the locker room. He went into there and hides himself in one of the lockers. After that, he unfreeze time so he can watch them in 4K although he has no eyes. I guess he must be using observation hacky. Moving on, after enjoying the view for a while, he is bored so it is time for protein time. He used his power to stop time. <laughs> After that, he is going to show them the power of Excalibur, one by one, until all of them are filled with the legendary Protein Man's protein. They should be grateful to him, because protein is very important for their health. This is why you guys should eat some protein every day. I am requesting my editor to do the same too, so she can stay healthy and edit well. Anyways, all of them tried to ask for help, and the only help they are going to get is from the Protein Man. He gave them a lot of protein and healed the shit out of them as usual. After that, he took a picture to keep it as a good memory. After he is done with three of them, he is going to bless everyone in the academy with his Excalibur and protein. It seems like he did not forget his role as the protein man. He knew that he has to be equal to all, and his protein must be received by everyone. <laughs> After he finished his Noblesse Oblige, his work of art has been found out by others outside the Academy. Every media company is reporting about the protein incident at the Academy. I guess this is the result that he wants. However, due to some anime bullshit, the academy did not close down and it is operating as usual. Although it is still operating, there is only a few left in the academy. Everyone who received the protein has transferred to another academy or they are currently in the hospital. There are still some students who attend the academy. It seems like they are absent on that day and did not get the blessing of Excalibur. Instead of running away and take a leave, they are going to enjoy their school life. I guess they underestimated the power of Protein Man, and this is the last time they are going to enjoy coming to the Academy. Speaking of the Protein Man, he is back at the Academy again. He used his power to stop time and want to meet those brave soul who dare to step into his playground. After finding out their identity, it is time for protein time as usual. He gave them a lot of limited edition protein man's protein. As expected of the protein man, he really wants them to take a lot of protein and stay healthy. As the saying goes, a protein a day will keep the doctor away.
Moving on, after he is done with his responsibility, the teacher came. She found out all of them are covered in protein. She is shocked and has no idea what to do. She could only cry at that time. <laughs> Too bad she will not be receiving any protein from him. Maybe that will calm her down. The academy has been fully shut down, and the authorities are securing the perimeter around the academy. It seems like he already got his revenge. Well, that is the end of my recap for this cultural anime. This anime currently has four episodes only. It is a shame that the ending is not that satisfying. Maybe they should release episode 5, where he confront his father. By the way, this anime was released 8 years ago, so I don't think they will be releasing episode 5. These are the comments and feedbacks for this anime from a cultural website. So, what do you guys think about the revenge plot and the time-stopping power in the anime? Let me know in the comment section below after you watched it alone or with your families.